My name is Dr. Sarah Diamond, and I'm the President and Vice Chancellor of OCAD University. I also run the Visual Analytics Laboratory. I'm the Principal Investigator. My research has uh, looked at the history of uh, data visualization and related fields such as visual analytics. And visual analytics, the bringing together of data analysis with cognitive science and data visualization with the goal of creating decision-making tools. So it's quite focused on industries that need uh, decision instruments in order to uh, make either very fast decisions or deep analytic decisions. We work with transportation data sets, um, data sets that are, I suppose, in the field of you know, carbon and sustainability, and we work with uh, various kinds of medical data sets. In some of the very exciting research under CIVDDD, we've worked with partners from the media industry, and they bring a number of things. They bring actual data, large quantities of data. Uh, in one instance, uh, our partner has provided um, data representing the consumer patterns across the entire Canadian media industries. Design is a very, very broad field, um, and it includes all kinds of systems thinking, design thinking around problem solving, and also uh, practices within particular domains like industrial design, which creates processes or objects or manufacturing solutions, right through to graphic design, which is interested more maybe in visual images. So design's a broad field, a set of methods. Visual art tends to bring in more of a kind of experimental component to it and a really fundamental knowledge of you know, aesthetics and color and, and perception. With uh, data visualization, what I think we've done is increasingly bring together the ability to analyze and structure and express data with design knowledge. Data visualization is more of a narrow field. It's um, working with data sets, which are mathematical, uh, looking at how those are expressed and finding ways to represent those in forms that are meaningful, expressive, have uh, the ability to allow people to understand the world in different kinds of ways, to create tools for um, businesses or other kinds of users that allow them to analyze that data set. Visual analytics has uh, tended to gravitate towards big data, um, large-scale data sets um, that, unless they are analyzed and expressed visually, really are not accessible to human analysts in any way. The research team includes not only academic researchers, uh, of course, and students, but it also includes individuals who come out of industry. When we come up with an idea and the industry partner, um, or not-for-profit or hospital, um, looks at that research and is really excited about it and sees its relevance. We try and work between more kind of design-friendly software um, like processing and, and, uh, and Java, visual analytics software systems, and then um, sketching. So we do a lot of sketching, both using digital tools and also you know, traditional sketching using sketching tools. There is no question that um, visual analytics and data visualization and the kind of computation and creative expression behind these is going to grow. Um, it's going to grow because um, even with supercomputing and the kind of cognitive computing that companies like IBM are developing, there will still be a need for systems um, that humans use and uh, interpret. And whenever you have a human user um, and a data set, you need to be able to uh, develop data visualization and visual analytic systems that are meaningful.